Colorado Rockies versus the Arizona Diamondbacks and the D-backs are plus 120. The Rockies are minus 140. The over-under is 12 runs. The Diamondbacks getting a run and a half are minus 145, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Rockies laying a run and a half are plus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Kukul did not pitch against the Rockies last year or this year, and Gomber did uh, did pitch against the D-backs, but it was last year. Six innings, four runs, two earned. They won 14 to six. Five innings, three runs, three earned, and they won nine to four. Now, Arizona's on a one-game winning streak. They are 16 and 20 on the road, and they are 1 and 0 as a team with Kukul on the mound. The Rockies are on a two-game losing streak. They are 21 and 21 at home, and they are 4 and 8 as a team with Gomber on the mound. Now, head-to-head, -head, the D-backs are 6 and 4 in their last 10 against the Rockies. The favorite winning the game by two minus a run and a half is six and four. The over is five, four and one in their last ten games. The under twelve is five, three and two in their last ten games. The D backs are five and one in their last six in our, uh, against the Rockies. And the Rockies are seven and two in their last nine games against the Diamondbacks in uh, Colorado. So it's just one of these. Flip a coin, which way do you think it's going to go? Because these are division rivals. I'm going to take the Rockies with the money line. The Rockies laying the runs. And I'm going to go over in this game because, you know, look at these pitchers' ERAs. It shouldn't be a pitcher's duel. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong. As always, these are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.